Hello, in this video we'll be using multiple transformations to graph a function. Uh, sometimes we have we know how to graph y equal x square, but uh, uh, from there we're gonna try to graph uh, more complicated uh, functions just by using transformations. So when graphing required more than one transformations, we use uh, this step. So first horizontal shift, second we do stretch or compress, and third reflection, and then fourth vertical shift. Uh, so we're going to see an example how we use all these uh, transformations to get to our goal. Uh, so uh, if the function for example is x squared as we're going to see in a, an example later, and it has this point x, y on the graph, if we need to graph f of x equal x uh, plus 2, for example, quantity squared, so what does it mean is you replace x with basically x minus 2, always the opposite. So if you have x minus c, so which our case minus minus 2, so we're going to have to shift every x to x minus 2 y well what we have here is a transformation or shifting to the left two unit so when you have a plus two you shift to the left two units and so on so for example next step is you stretch and compress and then you ref you do some reflection when you have uh, when you take x and become negative x this is a, a reflection about the y-axis so here is the y-axis so if I have x here I want it to become negative x so this is a reflection about the y-axis the next example right here we have minus y y become minus y so what does it mean if I have y here negative y is here so we have a reflection about the x-axis so this is about the x-axis reflection and this one here reflection about the y-axis and the last one if you have you done with all the steps and you have plus d at the end the either it makes it the graph shifted upward if it's positive or downward if it is negative with d unit and here we're going to see an example Uh, for example, sketch the graph of the function f of x equal minus 2, x plus 1, minus 1. So first thing we do is we take the function y equal x squared, which I'm going to graph right here. So this is the graph of y equal x squared. These are the points x, y that I was talking about earlier in general. And now, uh, the second step, we're going to try to get into x plus 1 quantity square. Because I have x plus 1, uh, positive 1, mean, meaning you shift the graph one unit to the left, negative 1. So almost like set x plus 1 equal to 0 and solve. That means x equal negative 1. That tells you how many units you need to shift left or right. If it is positive, you're going to shift left right and if it is negative you shift right and again I said you set x plus 1 equals 0 and you solve so this tells you how many units you shift negative to the left positive to the right so I'm going to choose a different color and I'm going to sh shift this orange graph of uh, parabola minus 1 to the left so again I will have uh, basically this graph right here in red so this is x plus 1 quantity square and uh, step 2 it's we have to graph y equal 2 times x plus 1 quantity square so this one is y we already have it we take this graph any y from before from the red graph and I'm, I'm gonna multiply it by 2 or I'm going to stretch it vertically, two units, by a factor of two. I'm going to change the color here. And for every 
zero times two is still zero but this point here y is one if i multiply it by two i get two so it's going to be shifted right here vertically and this point here is four y is four if i multiply it by two i'm going to get eight so i'll shift it here so again this one is here and then four become eight so the one in green right here is 2 multiplied by x plus 1 quantity square and then next one i have a negative and then 2 x plus 1 quantity square so this one is a y y equal so whatever i used to have in green i just want it to be negative value so y become a negative that means it's a reflection about the x-axis so this one stays the same here but this two become a negative two as well as this one and wherever i have eight when x is one it be become negative one a negative eight sorry and so here is the graph that is reflected with respect to the x-axis so this is minus two x plus one quantity square now we're done, almost done, because all what we have left, so this is the graph that we have, and I'm going to change color here to black. So the last one here, this one is already uh, what we have, this graph in green. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to shift it one unit down, because it's a negative one. So every point here is going to be shifted one down, one down, here, and here, and here. And then all what we need to do is connect them. And this is the graph of negative 2 x plus 1 quantity square minus 1. This method of shifting is very helpful in trigonometry. And if you want to use a graphing utility online, you could use uh, this one. So here's, as you see, x equal y equal x square so the next one i will graph is x plus one quantity square so as you see it was shifted one unit to the left and then use another one y equal and what we did earlier it's exact same thing but we have multiple so as you see it's in the middle and that's what I had earlier here in green 2 x plus 1 and then we need a reflection which is exactly what we have but we want to have a negative before the 2 so as look carefully so here is this one is green if i have a negative two so it's get reflected with respect to the x-axis and the last step is to add one and as you see here it was just shifted uh, plus one but i believe the problem says